Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from NM Watch and we are back with another strap review, right? So where are the straps you might ask? So it is inside this awesome blue shark straps.com um, canvas uh, strap roll, right? So I've reviewed this particular product before, so do check it out, right? So inside here we have five new straps from blue shark straps.com. Basically, they are my go to. Um, strap supplier, of course, yeah, Joe from Blue Shark Strap has been sending me quite a lot of products from there from his uh, lineup, and yeah, I think they are one of the best, ma one of the best uh, strap makers in the market right now, right? So first up, we have this basic, uh, what do you call this? Not not basic, it's actually, um, this is called the original Blue Shark Strap, right? So this is in the, in this blue uh, and uh, dark blue and. What is it called? Sea blue, <laughs> not sea blue, baby blue color, and with this, um, how to call this color? Oh, okay, navy, baby blue, and also white color combination, right? So I think they have names for it. I can't really remember the names of this particular <laughs> strap, but of course, I will leave a link down below if you guys uh, wish to get one of these. And uh, this thing will cost at about twenty US dollars, but of course, for Blue Shark products, you can always get the get a promotion, uh, buy two, sorry, buy three free one or buy five free one or free two. I think so. It is quite affordable, and of course, uh, yeah, you will have to, you pay some shipping in in some circumstances, but yeah, still, awesome, awesome product from BlueSharkStraps.com. So of course, this is your typical, um not that typical but still a very very high quality nato straps right so one of the unique features of the uh, straps from blue shark straps.com is that these uh, holes are not circular so you can see that the pattern here is a rectangular right so that is cool and uh, we have a nice stitching here there's no sharp edges at the bottom of the strap which is sometimes uh, i've been i've been using blue shark straps product for quite some time also so there are a few cases where this uh s there's some um stitching here jutting out and hurting my wrist and i've uh, you know i've told them and then they don't really i know they they, they just accept my complaint <laughs> my comment and they sent me a new watch right so a new sorry a new strap right so yeah that's the how they managed to you know um convey to the their uh, the seriousness in producing high quality watch straps for you right so again a uh, blue sharp strap sign buckle here with this brush finishing i always prefer by brush finishing on my straps uh, brush finishing on the hardware here and of course brush finishing on this side as well right so let's just put it on my Seiko uh, mini turtle and see how it looks like uh, so this is a double pass strap of course it is going to be a little bit tall but of course I don't really mind it because the thickness of this particular strap is quite thin and it doesn't really add that much of thickness right so quick wristwatch check I'm wearing my San Martin SM021B-3 right so which is an awesome uh, product as well let's see how it looks on my skinny 6.75 inch wrist right so this is the uh, from the uh, standard strap right collection so you can see that uh, there are still tons of um, materials or straps left in this particular piece so yeah that is why uh, I think it is good for people up to 8.5 inch wrist and yeah this is how it looks on my uh, Seiko Mini Turtle Blue, right? So this is strap number one. Let's go to the next one, which is I think yes, we already have this one. Let's just <laughs> go for another blue strap, which is this. I think this one is from Alpha Shark, right? So Alpha Shark series. So where we have this, um, what do you call this? Super duper soft. Um, uh, what do you call this? seat belt style strap right so blue shark is one of the first to introduce this type of material to the market so very very nice and this is damn super duper soft and we have um, this movable keeper here fixed keeper here and of course again uh, blue shark sign logo brush finishing as well and yeah again two double pass strap right so i've always love these products from uh, blue shark straps.com because they are you know what one of the i think one of the maybe the only strap producers that gives that gives us a lifetime guarantee for their products so yeah i kid you not so please do check out blue shark straps.com so this is how it looks on the seiko mini turtle and this is how it looks let's see how long uh, this strap is right oh my god oh my god right right three two two one boom yep so i am on the fourth hole you can see or maybe i can go to third hole you can see there's still tons of straps available if you guys you know have bigger wrist than mine so definitely definitely suits more almost you know all um customers need right so 
let's see I can just fold it like so and this bit right the second keeper you can adjust it to make sure that this bit doesn't flop when you are using it when you are using it right so this is how it looks on my Seiko mini turtle and yeah check out that sheen guys I just love how this uh, seat belt style material looks like on the on any watch for that matter right so that is strap number two which is from the alpha shark line I think right so next up is a this one what do we what do we call this this one they call it a uh, shark fin yep this is called the shark fin w with strap right so where the construction is a bit different so this material is uh, a bit thicker compared to this one and this one and it's i think it's about 1.2 or 1.3 millimeters in in thickness but of course this one is a single pass style strap so that is why it won't really add that much of a thickness to the to your watch fixed keeper here movable keeper here again uh brush finishing and with that blue shark sign logo right so the stitching here is so is fine no problem so let's just put it on the on my hamilton khaki automatic 38 millimeters right so this watch comes with the 40 millimeters version i think so that is why the full name is 38 khaki field automatic 38 millimeters so that is how it looks on my cami and i think um, for a field watch you don't really want to add much thickness because yeah it is already a slim uh, watch so let's just see if i can do this from behind the camera guys <laughs> right so it's quite difficult to do this right so let's just adjust it i think i am on the fourth hole so you can see i i think this 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 the standard the the length is basically similar uh, between this one and this one so you can see that we still have quite a lot oh no not really that much of material left compared to this uh this alpha shark uh strap right so let's just adjust it and boom yeah this is very very nice um what do you call shark fin w weave pattern with this uh bond colorway yeah i just love this um this style all right so it looks really really classy with this uh uh, Hamilton khaki feel right so let's just try out another strap which is what we have this one I think this one they call this um, alpha shark luxury so, um, if I'm wrong I will be <laughs> will be putting a a you know a comment down below so yeah where we have this um, the material is not as smooth as this one but it is a bit uh, tight uh, no no bit a bit bit thick but there is some how do you how do you call this um there is some bump <laughs> you can feel that this stitching here not no this this pattern here right we have some bump here right so it's not flat so that is really cool this one is totally flat but this one we can feel the texture on this uh, center line which is very, very cool i've never handled any products uh, like this before so this is i uh, maybe this is unique to blue shirt i'm not really sure but yeah still very very nice and feels and st sturdy in my opinion right so again uh, double pass construction fixed keepers here movable keepers here and of course the uh, sign buckle so this is the colorway i think they call this nttd or is it a uh, seamaster something something <laughs> i'm not really sure but of course i will leave the name in the video description below right so again i put it on this uh on hamilton khaki feel automatic and yeah boom i think that looks awesome right so what do you guys think this is a very very um i think it this is a strap monster guys this hemi right so let's just put it on the wrist and see how it looks like okay right so i am again on the fourth hole so we have quite a lot of uh, materials left here and yep and let's just tuck it back in like so and boom yep maybe people up to 8 inch or even 8.5 inch wrist can still use this particular strap and check it out guys i just love how this combo looks on this hemi right so that is very very cool of, of course it adds a bit more thickness but yeah still i don't really care because this color is such an awesome color guys right so this is strap number four for today but the last one that i really i'm i don't really know why other strap makers don't produce this one but uh blue shark called this nautilus one single pass strap right so because i don't know the, the material is quite different right so we have this something similar to this one right so but the texture is a bit different so if i can bring this in you can see that the, that the texture is different it is not as soft as this one but it's not it is not that as 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 hard or as 
you know, as tough as this one it is still maintain that smoothness but check out the sheen and check out this um what do you call this side side weave side weave pattern so you can see that the weave pattern on the both side of the stripe is a bit different so that is why i don't know this is very I, maybe blue shark is the first one to introduce this kind of strap but yeah still it is a cool option um fixed keeper here movable keeper here and of course sign buckle here and we're gonna put it on again on the hamilton khaki khaki feel automatic 38 millimeters and yeah check out that green i just love how this green adds to that you know military look to the uh, Hamilton khaki feel automatic right so let's just do this again behind the camera oh my god this is difficult three two one and yep yeah yep yep so I am on the third hole so again we have quite a lot of materials left and yeah check that out guys oh I forgot to mention that this hardware is also different so you can see that this there is a bit of chamfering here straight chamfer straight whereas the other one is featuring quite a standard um, keepers yep i don't think they're using this on this particular product right so this is basically maybe the uh, most expensive let's just check out how much we, this thing cost um i know not really that expensive 28 us dollars so that's quite good price because remember it's blue shark offers you that buy two sorry buy three free one or buy five free two right so yeah it, <laughs> it's an awesome strap in my opinion guys so what do you guys think right so there you have it guys um five different new not really new but different product from blue shark straps.com i just i just love using their product because they are you know high producing high quality watch strap and of course we have that lifetime warranty which for me is one of the things that other strap suppliers or strap makers in the, uh, in the market right now they don't really have that that kind of confidence in their product but blue shark does have that confidence right so that is why i what i like about blue shark strap.com so i hope that you guys find this useful and if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye